Good morning. How is everyone? My name is Jason Hiram Lester. I'm a graduate of the class of 2001 at Cedar Grove High School. Before I entered the AVID program in my 10th grade year, I had a GPA of less than 1.50. This GPA did not reflect the true brain power that I possess. The GPA reflected the true example of laziness, lack of organization, and pure ignorance. In my freshman year, the last thing on my mind was education. My middle school years were great. I had good grades, and I was the model student. But when I got to ninth grade, I began to play and slip in schoolwork. I could not understand what my problem was. I remember my mom and I going to a PTA meeting after I received this horrible progress report that showed no progress report, I mean progress, okay. When my mother and I went to this PCA meeting that night, the AVID program was introduced to my community. During the meeting, my mother and I received information, important information about how great the program was and what the program did for students all over the U.S. After hearing the great information of the program, my mother and I decided that I really needed to be a part of the program. Within weeks, my attitude towards school changed. I began to care and study, but I still played around. In the first semester, instead of having four Fs, I had none. This was already a magnificent improvement. My mother rejoiced. My first time not feeling anything, but unfortunately, my mother suffered from breast cancer and she never made it to the second semester of my 10th grade year. But she died knowing and seeing that I was on a fine road to improve me. The second, the semester she died, the semester she died, I missed school and I failed a geometry class. But this time, I did not fail because I didn't come to class. I did not fail because I didn't care. I failed because I just missed school. The 11th grade year rolled around. My grades began to improve even more. I received report cards that had the GPA of 2.0 and better. To have, a, to have at least a 2.0 or better, to me, was a big deal. My final year came around. I went into my senior year with determination that I wanted to at least get a 3.0. Through hard work and studying the avid way, I continued to succeed. The first semester, my GPA was a surprising 3.17. And when the last semester, okay, and when the last semester came around, I received a wonderful GPA of 3.5. I had four A's, one B, and a C. <laughs> With hard work and great tutors helping me, everything began to change. My grades improved, my SAT scores even improved. I went from making a 700 to making a 940 within just two months of using SAT books that were supplied by the AVID program. With the AVID, with AVID, my, AVID my attitude began, became better. I began to participate in the marching band. I began to learn how to balance education with recreation. The AVID program at Cedar Grove High School is a family to me. We help each other and we learn together. I remember when my mother passed in the 10th grade and how the AVID program at Cedar Grove High School supported me when I needed them the most. You will be happy to know that in nine days from today, I'll be traveling to Huntsville, Alabama to further my education at Alabama A&M University. I plan to uh, major in elementary education and minor in music. <laughs> I will also participate in the Alabama A&M March
watching Maroon and White show band of the South, <laughs> I received a close to full band scholarship. I remember a time, I, was here, I really remember a time when I thought I was never going to go to college. Without the AVID program, I do not think I would be where I am today. I do not think I would have the amount of intelligence and study skills, study skills that I now possess. Not only did this program help me, it also helped my AVID family back home at Cedar Grove High School. All seven of us got accepted and planned to attend four-year institutions and university. In conclusion, I thank my AVID teacher, Ms. Muhammad, for the work that she has done to improve me and my peers. I also thank her for guiding me when I really wasn't guiding myself. I thank the founder of this program. Without your vision, none of this would be possible. Yeah. 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 I thank everyone who's done anything to help me get to where I am now. Uh, last but certainly not least, I thank God because He alone is the reason why I'm here and why I've succeeded. Um, I dedicate my uh, past, present, and future success to my mother. I think she deserves to see the final Jason, the Jason that succeeded. Stacy knows bad port cards and progress reports that she saw. I think she needs to see that, but well, she'll see it. She'll see it. Well, thank you for listening. <laughs>